Good morning. Good morning. I'm Annie Newman. I'd like to talk about community TV. And um, in the coming weeks, you're going to make decisions affecting the future of community TV. I've been working with community TV for many years. I've probably worked on more than 100 shows. I've worked with teenagers and people in their 80s. I've done shows on human rights, ecology, gangs, tai chi, Shakespeare, and woodworking. I've volunteered on shows for children and seniors in English and Spanish, shows of young people playing music as well as professionals, music from rock to Celtic to jazz. While I've volunteered at Community TV, I've seen hundreds of Santa Cruz residents expressing themselves through music, poetry, and roundtable discussions. People doing what they enjoy, what they feel is important, and sharing it with the whole Santa Cruz community. I'm concerned that these new regulations are going to put the facilities of Community TV out of the reach of most of the people currently putting on shows, and that the facilities will only be available to those who can pay. I think we should keep Community TV a, sh a program, an organization for the whole community. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, City Council. I have um, I've come here as a as a producer at Community TV, and I have been working with Community TV and producing since nineteen. 99, and, and I w w want to say that it has been quite an inspiration and to see the people that have come before us and be, been present. I would think it's a tragedy to move the community TV from the facility that is available, that we've been so there so long. Uh, from uh, it has been, uh, uh, we have been uh, we have been working to give the community. Uh, uh, opportunity to and present the uh, it's been a challenge and we have I think met that challenge and we we would like to, uh, we hope that and that uh, the city, that county board of supervisors will will uh, take a different purview and see that that you can work with us <coughs> and keep our, keep our facility where it is, and reconsider the, the action that will possibly be taken against community TV. Um, we, are, we are hopeful and that you will listen to our case. Our how are you as well? Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning. morning. Board of Supervisors. I'm John Maurer. I, I live at the uh, at, out on Freedom in uh, Watsonville area. And I've been at the uh, community television for about 11, 12, maybe 13 years. And I've seen a few of you guys there at the show, uh, at the community TV, and, um, and I've seen you, Neil, a long time ago when I was there at the Bookshop Santa Cruz uh, on the streets, and 
It has, uh, the community TV is a very important thing to the community, I believe. It gives us community people a chance to speak up and to let people know what is going on. We help the uh, animal shelters. We help the homeless people. We've, we do meet, we've shown this on TV right now as we speak. And I think it's a very important thing that we need to stay the way we were or close to and so that we can keep the community voice awake and, and open. Instead of shutting us up, we need to speak more. And <coughs> thank you. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Um, I'm Betsy Phillips. I'm here to support Community TV. My husband, Charlie Phillips, has been doing Voices from the Village since Community TV opened. And uh, just about everybody I know has been on his show. And so a lot of people are involved. For a lot of people, it's their life. And um, a lot of issues, news gets out that otherwise would never make it to television. So we're here. I'm here because I can volunteer if, if that helps to keep the studio open there and willing to do that. All right, thank you. Thank you. 